is on high. My position is at the right hand. Look at somebody else and tell him I am a part of his right hand. And the right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. So go ahead and look at somebody and tell them I ain't scared. <laughs> yeah, I'm a valiant one. I'm not a coward soldier. Draw the line and ask me if I'm willing to go back. And before I take it back, I'll add more to it. So that when now the right hand of the Lord, go ahead and shake somebody by the right hand. Tell them you're feeling the power of God now. You're feeling the position you're in now. Shake it again. Shake it again. Tell them, say, you're not just anywhere. You're at his right hand. There are pleasures at his right hand. There's joy in his presence. But there's good stuff at his right hand. There's authority in his right hand. There's power in his right hand. Oh, and God wants you to know that where you are, you're in an impregnable position. And the enemy can see, but he can't touch. Hallelujah, he's got windows in front of you. And even as you're dancing, you become the moving target that he can't even shoot at. He can't shoot at what he can't see. And so when God gives you this position, he says, I need you to understand that in my right hand, you're going to do stupid stuff. Unbelievable stuff because I'm going to exalt my right hand. Go ahead and look at somebody and say, go ahead and get down so he can lift you up and go ahead and get down so God can exalt you humble yourself now so God can lift you up he says get down before me bow down before me and know that underneath you are the everlasting arms the eternal God is your refuge and the lower you get the higher he can lift you as long as you're standing here he can't lift you but so much but if you get down low look at the same thing how low can you go Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God and watch him begin to exalt you. He exalts his right hand. And then he says, you shall not die. Because at that point, it is a declaration that just comes naturally. You're at the right hand of God. You shall not be moved. You are at the ability of God. Nothing can overpower you. You're in a position where God is right next to you, for you, in front of you. He's your real God. He's over you. He's all around you. Look at somebody and tell them, I can't die. <laughs> you understand that you are eternal. When you understand that death has no more power, that grave and the sting of death have given over to victory. Already, Christ has paid the price. Already, he has secured the deal so that now, we are not conquerors, we are more than conquerors. Which means we are left in the army's terms in the days of Rome to go back and just get the spoils. Cause the victory has been won, the battle has been fought. All we have the duty of doing is going back and gathering up those who were, gathering up those who are lost, gathering up the spoils of victory, bringing them back and celebrating the victory that has already been wrought. So go ahead and look at somebody and tell them, he's the salvation, he is the song, he is the strength. I am the one who simply sings the song, operates in the strength, and gives him glory for what he's already.